Elon is in the Bible. And the killings at the border crossings, the land crossing between the land of Egypt and Jordan and also Gilead. Much like the killings that are happening to the modern day Palestinians in Gaza, by the Jewish people that are now calling themselves modern Israel. Judges chapter 12 verse 5 to 15, and when the Arabs who were living in the land of the Egelidites, they took the sea passages and also the land crossings, and also the land crossings which was between the two land mass which was once Gilead, and which was before the belongings of the Ephraimites, and then Israel they took the land. And they began to man the crossings. And so it was, that every time that the Ephraimites wanted to cross over to and from Egypt and to the land of Jordan, and to escape from the persecution of Israel and from the subjugation of people by e. Israel, that was afflicted upon the people in Gilead which was called Arabia and South Arabia, that they would prevent them, and so it was that they said to them, Are you Arabic? And not an Egelidites? Or Ephraimite? And if they said, No. Then they said to them, Say the name Shibboleth, and if they couldn't say Shibboleth but Zaboleth instead, they'd know that they were lying. And that they weren't from Israel but were indeed Arabic and not Ephraimites. And if they mispronounced the name Shibboleth, then they would kill them. And because they knew that they weren't from Israel but Arabia and that they weren't Ephraimites, because the Arabs them couldn't say the word Shibboleth. Because they knew that the Arabs couldn't frame their tongue right to pronounce it correctly. Then they would capture them and take them, and kill them at that checkpoint which was at the passage, and at that crossing which was from the land of Egypt and also which was going into Jordan. And which was the checkpoint which was built before the crossover. And which was the checkpoint that was coming out and going into the land of Jordan, because they suspected that there were Arabs escapees who were crossing over there instead of the Ephraimites, and who were coming from out of the land of Egelidites, from the land of Arabia. And if they said, yes, we are not Arabic, but Ephraimites, they'd let them in. But if they were Ephraimites, and not Arabic, and if they said let me go over to Jordan then they would not capture them but they would let them go. So they captured many Arabs there, and there fell at the hands of Israel, at that time 42,000 Arabs there. And Jephthah judged the nation of Israel six years. Then after that when Jephthah, the Egelidite was dead, and he was buried in one of the cities of Gilead. Then after him Ibzan of Bethlehem judged the people of Israel. And he had thirty sons, and thirty daughters, whom he sent abroad, and they took to themselves thirty daughters from abroad for his sons to be their wives. And he judged Israel seven years. So when Ibzan died, he was buried at Bethlehem. And after him Elon, a Zebulonite, judged the people of Israel. And Elon judged Israel ten years. And Elon the Zebulonite died, and was buried in Ijalan in the country of Zebulun. And after him Abdon the son of Hillel, a Purithonite, judged Israel. And he had forty sons and thirty nephews, that rode on threescore and ten ascolts, and he judged Israel eight years. And Abdon the son of Hillel the Purithonite died, and was buried in Pirithon in the land of Ephraim, in the mount of the Amalekites. Friends what is happening to the Palestinian in the land of Palestine is genocidal. The Arabic Palestinian were there first. Friend, the land of Israel is not the promised land that was given to E. Yaqabi whose name is was once called Jacob before it was changed to E. Israel by Eluhimi. Friends, the land of Palestine was the given to the Jews or the Jewish people by the League of Nations to establish a Jewish state and also a Jewish nation and which has long since been engulfed or enveloped by the United Nations. And by the Rothschilds, who has taken from the Arabic Palestinians land, and has given them to the Jewish people to make for them a permanent home. And also to provide for the Jewish people a state and also a Jewish nation. So you see the land of Israel was given the to the Jews by the Rothschilds. And by Lord Rothschilds himself who broker a deal with England and France and the other nations by the Balfour Declaration. Friend for more information about the Balfour Declaration, and how the Rothschilds created Israel and also the nation of Israel, please check out the links below. 1. How the Rothschilds created Israel. 
and also the Balfour Declaration. Thank you. Friends, if you are sympathetic to the Palestinians, and also to how they have been mistreated and being killed in Gaza and Rafa, you are taking the right side of history. Because the killing of thousands of people for land is simply egregious. And it appears to be genocide to me. Friends, and if it appears that I'm against Israel. And Israeli interests. Is that I'm simply pointing out the facts. And the fact is two wrongs doesn't make it right. People have a right to life and freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. And also to worship. Sadly many have chosen to worship God instead of Elu who means the sovereign one of E Abraham and also whose name is called Eluya and Eluya and E Christ, and also the Almighty. And who means called the sovereign king of heaven, and also the ought of all the heavens and the earth. So why is there so many people have chosen to be called the children of God and the child of God? Rather than to be called Ease. And also not to become the chosen people of E Israel whose name is named after the Holy One, whose name is called Holy, and also the Almighty. And because of their abjuration and also the oath to reject E, the Sovereign One of Heaven and to embrace God, this is why there's so much fighting and killing and strife and disasters and crisis and catastrophes, that are happening one after one another. Because Satan is loose. And Satan is God. And God as Satan is seated as the head of all the nations that are a part of the UN and also the United States and also those that are the United Nations Assembly. And also all the countries that are a part of the United European Union, and also those that are a part of the African Union. And that's why there are so much sufferings and killings and fighting that are everywhere in E's world today. Because they all are being headed and misled by Satan. But very soon it all would soon come to an end. Because he, the sovereign king of heaven is coming back to establish his holy kingdom in his earth. And old God God Gadriel whom is also called God and also the Lord God, and also Satan would come to his end. Hallelujah. He, he's coming, praise he the odd. Friends, our only hope is in his salvation and also his redemption plan. Because Satan time is coming to an end. Because any day now Elu would be coming to establish E's holy kingdom in E's world. And also to vanquish old God God Gadriel whom is called God and Chaitan and Baal and Baal God. And Ibli and Shaitan and also the devil. Friends, let us beginning to hallel Elu and also to acknowledge E, as the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Before it's too late. Thank you. May he open up every eye to what's going on in his world. So that we all may accept Elu as the Christ before it's too late. Thank you. To be continued. The End